What happens if someone learns it? I identified three key threats. The good news, perhaps the only good news, is that having this number alone doesn't let anyone sign into your account and get any other data directly. However, they can track your activity if this number surfaced any other way, through traffic sniffing or through any past or future data breaches. They can also determine roughly how long you've been in the Apple ecosystem, and that would make your digital dossier even more detailed. That's because these numbers are widely believed to increment in sequence. Lower numbers correspond to older accounts and higher numbers to newer ones. But two more threats make this vulnerability unique and much worse. One of them is caused by the fact that your Apple ID number didn't leak just by itself. It's right next to your full name. And as you know, App Store Connect requires that you use your real legal name. You also know that App Store Connect accounts have lots of other personal data, such as bank details, tax forms, and physical addresses. Bad actors know this too. Now imagine the degree of credibility a phishing email like this would have. The developer is certain that this number is not known to anyone outside Apple. And finally, because of how this vulnerability works, it enables on-demand, highly targeted attacks. If someone wants to get your Apple ID number, all they have to do is download your app, then open their own purchase history. It's as if you bought a book and the bookstore printed the author's social security number on the receipt. 